Now, Alistair Begg has been a faithful preacher of the Word for decades. He's a wonderful pastor, and he's orthodox in his theology, a great preacher, greater than I and many others. But I believe that here he has compromised. I don't believe that believers should go to a homosexual or transgender wedding for several reasons. First of all, number one, there's no such thing as a homosexual or transgender wedding. That's not a wedding. The Bible says very specifically what a wedding is. It is between a man and a woman, male and female. The Bible makes that very clear in the book of Genesis. And it's only a wedding because God is the one who unites them together. And so that's not really a wedding, first of all. The Bible makes that unmistakably clear. Anything else is a lie and a falsehood. It doesn't matter what the government says. It doesn't matter what the state says. It only matters what God says. And when the state contradicts the Word of God, we stand firmly on the Scripture. And also, by attending a wedding, where you're, what you're basically doing is you're affirming that whole event. How can a Christian give their blessing to something that is an abomination to Almighty God? How can you bless that when God does not, when God, um, it is an offense in his sight? And also by attempting to demonstrate your love to them by doing something like that, you're actually doing the exact opposite. You're not showing love there. Um, What is love? Well, the Bible tells us in 2 John verse 6, this is love that we walk after his commandments. It's never loving to affirm someone or encourage someone that is walking against the Word of God. Love sometimes is tough, and sometimes we have to speak truth graciously, lovingly, but we still have to speak truth that will be offensive. We are not trying to be offensive, but we have to stand firmly on the truth of God's Word. And so, the most loving thing you can do to a person who's living in sin is for you yourself to walk in truth and to speak truth to them. By attending something like that, you are affirming a lie and you're not walking in the truth. And that, to me, is a form of hatred. Why would you want to encourage someone in a life that is a lie, that is a sin against Almighty God? That is not loving. And also, a wedding is supposed to be a joyous event. How can you rejoice when God's Word is being rejected? How can you be joyous when the divine order that God established is being perverted? There's no way you can have joy over that if you're a believer. Let me tell you something, beloved. Compromise with the world never wins the world. If you think you're going to win the world to Christ by compromising truth, you'll never get that accomplished. Never do what is offensive to God to appear winsome to man. Now, some of you know that I have a prodigal son. I have four children. Three of them are believers. I have one son who is living in sin and living in error, and we, my wife and I, we pray over him every day of our life. Um, We constantly are asking God to bring repentance to his heart. The worst thing I could ever do for him is to affirm uh, that kind of a life. That's the worst thing I could ever do, is in any way give affirmation to that kind of sin or that kind of life of life. 